peeps, you don't have a little catchphrase where I like to say the irony is unreal. And I was saying to myself earlier today, I was thinking about something and Lisa and I came to mind. And I was saying to myself, it's been a couple of weeks now that Lisa and I has not been embroiled in any public controversy. I mean, I said that kind of weird. You understand? Um, just to find out that she is actually involved in a new controversy. Well, if you want to call it that, it says House Speaker writes to Lisa Anna for wearing sleeveless dress to Parliament. So, peace, may I go present the information and may I go talk about it a little and look at is this a big deal or are we making too much of something that is not very, very big or is it the fact that rules are rules and rules should be adhered to? So, we're going to talk about it. My soon circle. Before we proceed, smash the like button to pieces, leave a comment, please share the life out of this video, feel free to subscribe for more content, remember to turn on your notification so as to never miss another video. Let's do it. Southeast St. Anne, a member of parliament, Lisa Anna, set off a series of comments and criticisms on Wednesday when she turned up in parliament in a sleeveless dress. It is attention seeking, said St. Andrew West Rural MP Juliet Cuthbert Flynn in an off mic comment. Anna was wearing a black cap sleeve with a wider scope neckline. You know she's wrong, Cuthbert Flynn said in a crosstalk with some opposition MPs. The St. Andrew West Rural MP engaged her colleague Juliet Holness, the Member of Parliament for St. Andrew East Rural, and the undercurrent of concerns grew louder. At one point, Anna was overheard saying, raise it on a point of order, suggesting to her critics that they should bring the matter to the attention of the Speaker of the House, Pernell Charles. The crosstalk over Anna's outfit created an obvious distraction while Member of Parliament for St. Andrew Eastern, Flavor Williams, was making her contribution to the state of the constituency debate. This triggered the Speaker's intervention who called for order. Meanwhile, Charles has written to Anna reminding her of the dress code as set out in the standing order of the rules of parliament. Charles said that a member of the house had complained about Anna's attire. The speaker noted that he was prompted to take action against the opposition MP. I simply wrote to her, bring it to her attention and ask that she abide by the rules. So this is what the standing order 84A says as it relates to attire. One, the dress of members and other users of the house must at all times reflect sobriety in order to maintain the dignity and decorum of the house. Two, there shall be strict adherence to the rules. Three, members dressed for meetings of the House of Committees should consist of a business suit and necktie for men and a sleeved business dress or skirt suit of modest length or pants suit for women. Beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. So beat and teach, beat and teach, beat and teach, <laughs> beat and teach, beat and teach. So peeps, based on observation and observing Lisa and down the years, and if you had noticed that the pictures I specifically chose to use in this video, Lisa Anna appears to me to be a sleeveless type of girl. You understand whether it is formal, whether it is casual, she find a way for sleeveless the thing. You understand me? I say, however, no, Lisa Anna is a woman that many other women in Jamaica, young girls, young ladies admire respect and look up to you understand me i say and lisa Anna has always been one to advocate um, adherence to rules and laws and if the rules of parliament dictates that no sleeveless should be worn into the house of parliament then no sleeveless should be worn Zane, and part of the thing we may have um concern with now is that when persons raise concerns and issue with it lisa Anna was fiercely enough <laughs> to suggest that they, they, they raise it as a point of order like she don't really care you understand me i say if you error and uh, you probably you probably slip your mind you probably never remember because we're all humans and you do it not, 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 not try bring off a thing with arrogance and ego you understand me i say so lisa rang up for that still is it so lisa if you understand say the rules of the parliament are the rules of the parliament and if she don't want to adhere by the rules of, to the rules of the parliament she she fig um stop being an mp then you understand me i say so i just that me have to say about it thing you understand but i want them things lisa fix up your thing you see me this video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons to become a patron follow the link in the description below
thank you for watching the video drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet until next time what good